five ways to trigger a narcissist hoover it can be very hard when you get discarded by a narcissist it leaves you hurt and confused it makes you question yourself it makes you wonder if maybe everything they said was true maybe something is wrong with you maybe you're crazy maybe you're not good enough and it's hard for you to resolve these thoughts about yourself because you've just been through a traumatic experience and you're looking for answers and naturally you will feel as though there is only one person who can give you those answers you will feel as though there is only one person who can make you feel better so you may desire for the narcissist to hoover you you may desire for them to come back because you're seeking their validation you want to feel desired and accepted by them because right now you may feel undesirable and unwanted it is better to validate yourself instead of depending on someone else for validation but sometimes that's easier said than done especially when you've just been through something traumatic it's much easier to have someone else to validate your experience and that is why therapy is so important narc survivor is partnered with the number one online counseling service better help which can provide online mental health services directly to you so if you haven't joined better help yet i highly recommend that you do that now it will be very beneficial for you on your healing journey you can join at betterhelp.com forward slash narc survivor but you may just want attention from the narcissist you may hate being ignored by them so you may want them to hoover you you want them to come back even if it's only for a moment because you believe it may help to relieve your pain and that is understandable which is why i decided to create this video this video is also for educational purposes it will help you to understand more about how the narcissist mind works so here are five ways to trigger a narcissist hoover one act disinterested if you're already talking to the narcissist you need to stop doing that you need to stop showing interest you need to stop trying to get them back because that's only going to make them lose interest in you it's going to make them think they've already got you and you're not going anywhere so they don't need to chase after you they don't need to get your attention because you're already at their beck and call so stop sending them long paragraphs stop responding so quickly stop making them so important two ignore them the worst thing you can do when the narcissist is not talking to you 
is to keep talking to them. Then they don't even have to do the work to get your attention because they've already got it. And they can't want something that they already have. You have to make them want your attention. And the best way to do that is to take your attention away from them. Stop calling them. Stop sending them messages. And focus on your own life. Focus on making your life better without them. When you do that, they will immediately sense that your energy is no longer there. And then they will try to get it back. Because they will wonder what has you distracted. They will wonder what else it is that has your attention. Remember narcissists are very envious and jealous. They can't stand the thought of someone taking something that they think is theirs. So they will hoover you. They will try to get you back. Three. Post your new life on social media. Take the focus off the narcissist and focus on making your life better. Go to the gym. Spend more time outside. Take trips. Meet up with friends. And then post it on social media to show the narcissist that you're having a good time without them. To show them that you don't need them. The narcissist has an inflated ego. They have a desperate need to feel important. And it is very easy to exploit that by showing them they don't matter. When you do that... They will try to prove to you that they can be something to you. They will try to get your attention. They will try to win you over. But it's not because they want to do or be anything for you. It's not because they want to make you happy. It's just because it makes them feel better. It makes them feel special and important. If they can make you believe that about something. Four. Find someone new. Meet a new person. Go on dates. Start a new relationship. If the narcissist is still interested in you. That will definitely trigger a hoover. And it may even reignite their interest. Especially if the new person has certain qualities that narcissists desire and strive to attain. The last thing the narcissist wants is for you to move on and be happy without them. Especially if it's with someone who they think is better than them. Narcissists are very insecure which makes them very competitive. So they may try to compete with this new person that you have met. They may try to outdo them. Five. Block them. When all else fails, just block the narcissist. But don't do it after you've argued with them. Or just after they've said something to you. Because then they will know why you're blocking them. It will give them supply. Instead, block them when they least expect it. Block them for no reason at all. It will confuse them. They will wonder what they did wrong. They will feel like they've lost control. And then they will reach out to you from another account. Or they will get someone else to contact you. But if blocking them fails to trigger a hoover. Just give it time. Wait a few weeks or months. 
until the narcissist gets bored of their new supply. And then it will be even more effective. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.